Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So this guy finally decided to show up right now so I quickly set up so I can go ahead and unbox this guy which would be my glam bag X. The one that was missing for so long. Today is Friday February 18. Yeah, actually after I had filmed the Glam Bag Plus yesterday, I was saying that it hadn't moved since the 7 when it was inducted into the Pitney Bow system in New Jersey. Yeah, after that, I checked and it finally said Orlando. Finally. So, now it's here. <laughs> yeah, it took its sweet time. Took its sweet time. Yeah, anytime Pitney Bowes, anybody uses Pitney Bowes, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. It's even worse than DHL. It seriously makes DHL look great and quick. Yeah. Because, I mean, DHL sometimes has its moments where it is quick, but, yeah. Got my glass of wine again. It was another one of those days. Yeah, I did get overtime because it was just too much. It was just too much. I still did leave earlier than my schedule time, just like yesterday, but it was still overtime. So yay, more makeup for me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so hubby's at the gym, so got to go ahead and get started with this one. So welcome back, or if you're new, hi, my name is Maria Jose, not Maria, not Maria Jose. Maria Jose, one word, and let's finally jump into this. All right, so jumping into this. Yeah, so I've got my app ready. Yeah, so this one is for the month of February with Addison Ray yeah because i do like some of her products but honestly even with choices there wasn't that much yeah there wasn't that much i don't know all these curated boxes there just isn't that much of the person's products i guess it's just their favorites yeah so quickly i wanted to mention i had gotten this one in my glam bag plus yesterday and I put it on today, which is the Carmella Cosmetics Lipstick in Enchanted. Wore this one today. It's actually pretty matte. It's pretty matte. So I'm guessing this one would have been a good one to wear underneath the mask. But since no longer required to wear a mask, I topped it off with the Marc Jacobs High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer in Ch -ch -ch changes enamored yeah enamored high shine gloss which is one of the ones I had gotten in boxycharm yeah yeah one of those strange colors but I thought it would pair well with this lipstick and yeah makes it really interesting yeah what else was I wearing I'm wearing Pacifica blushes. Ah, the eyeshadows. I did a combination of these two from BH Cosmetics from their birthstone collection. I did Sapphire for September and Turquoise for December. This one has some lighter shades, some deeper shades, so I mixed the two together to get this look. Yeah. Because I like this one, but it doesn't have deep shades, deepening shades, so sapphire, yeah, and my deepening shade, it's a little bit on the crease, I did this one in the middle, shimmer as the middle lid, and then the large turquoise on the inner lid, yeah, so I got those, Put those back, still so many palettes I still haven't played with. I still haven't played with the BH Cosmetics, the ice cream ones, the blue and the green that I got at Marshall's. Yeah. 
there's still some items I haven't played with. <laughs> All right. So let's get started because I waited long enough. There's this. Yeah. All right. My mother. <laughs> All right, got my little table here. Yeah, so this one is the newspaper. So this guy is 55, about 55 every three months. Every three months. Yeah. Yeah. See some items that I did pick, chosen for me. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's see what Ipsy chose for me. Skincare, skincare. <laughs> All right. Let's see, be this guy and this guy. All right, so firstly on here, really small. Really small. Because compared to the other guy, yeah. So this is the MZ Skin by Dr. Mariam Zamani. Soothe and Smooth. Hyaluronic Brightening Eye Complex. <sighs> Continues with the eyes. Continues with the eyes, yeah. This guy is 14 milliliters, 0.47 fluid ounces. Let's see if it shows up here. So yeah, it's small because it is an eye cream. Yeah, here we go, $143. Yeah, but because it retails for $143, I'm definitely going to keep and try this one. Yeah, because I have been suffering with a little bit of dry under eyes. So today I decided to go with the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream underneath the eyes right before I applied my concealer. Great, helped out a ton. So let's see. Yeah. Eye cream size. Yeah. Made in the UK. And glass container. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try that. Yeah, at night I'm using the Glow Recipe, the avocado retinol eye cream. And during the day, the Murad, hydrating one. So, I guess this one will be next. Then next, we have Tula Skincare 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I like this brand, so I think I'm going to keep this. I think I am going to keep this. Let's see. If it shows up here. Where? Here we go. Tula Skincare, $52. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm overflowing with skincare. My skincare cabinet, one of the doors, constantly opens up by itself because she's crammed. Yeah. But I like this brand. I do like this brand, so... Another one for the cabinet. Two more for the cabinet. Alright, let's see what else. So I can find it here somewhere. Is it this one? ABH. Yeah. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Yeah. Full size, not the mini. And then, let's see where this guy is. How much it retails for. Do I have a mini? I think I have a mini. Of the clear brow gel. Is that one? Yeah. $22. Yeah. $22. Do I have the mini? Somewhere? Nah, not the mini. Same size. Yep. I have two. <laughs> Alright. 
because right now I'm overflowing with brow products, especially brow gels. We'll see if I end up keeping this one. Yeah, so we have that one for 22. I have a lot. I have a lot. And then next we have from Woma Beauty, Black Magic Hypnotic Impact High Shine Lipstick. And I have the shade Love. Yeah, shade Love. Let's see this one here. Where is it? Where is it? Woma. Because I see it here in the picture, but I don't see it listed. Ah, here we go. Retails for $24. Yeah. Looks like a shade I will like. Yeah. So this one is red packaging because I do have some in the matte white packaging. Yeah. Ooh, it's glittery. shine lipstick it's kind of like a balm huh I expected a deeper shade because here it shows up deeper because my last camera yeah this one doesn't do it the black lines all right so it was a camera issue. Yeah. Definitely, it shows it deeper than what it actually is. Just kind of like a balm. Mm. I can't really smell anything right now. <laughs> Yeah, so now that I don't have to wear a mask anymore, I get to wear these kind of things now. <laughs> ah, I'm excited. Yeah, there were so many lipsticks I was neglecting. Then, Generation Skin. Let's see here. Which, this I don't think I'm going to keep. The Generation Skin Brightening Kakadu Plum Eye Patches. <laughs> yeah. Kakadu Plum. Let's see where this guy is. $49. Skin brightening vitamin C. Yeah. So we have these. Looks like it would be maybe purple under eye patches. Yeah. Alright, now we can start with the items that I chose. <sighs> Alright, so I'm here starting to prep for the items that I chose. I just noticed they did it to me here again. They did it to me here again just like the plus with my add-ons. I'm missing items. I'm missing items. And I paid for those items. Like the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream, I did three of these. There's only one in here. For this one, yeah, I did do one. Seems like, yeah, the Ferro Powder and Go Brush. Dual ended. I wanted this one for a gift, which I do have mine right here. It's a powder brush and I guess under eye powder brush. So I did that, which is $3.50. These are now $3.50. And then... Also, yeah, this one, I did two of these. Did two of these, and there's only one. I don't think it would be in here. It's only one, which is the Farah Blender Brush 25E Rose Gold Collection Blender Brush. It was for a gift, one for me, one for a gift, along with that dual-ended one. That feels so nice. 
So again, just one. I paid for two. I paid for three. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, Ipsy? Yeah. So I have to complain in both of my accounts. I don't know what's going on. All right, so the first item that I chose would be the bag. Because in this section, just like another time that I did choose the bag, there was nothing else. There was nothing else, so I chose the bag. Hmm. Really thin, really thin. It does say Ipsy. Ipsy, kind of croc skin. See these straps? Yeah, it does come with the matching straps. You will put them here. Yeah. Maybe it would be just on this side and not one and one. Yeah. Let's have a cute little bag. So then this guy would retail for $19. Full croc bag. <laughs> no. I would not pay $19 for this. You could find something like this at Dee Dee's. Like this, this size. $6.99? Max ten dollars. Max. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then the next item that I chose, which I am so happy, my Lily lashes, the Level Up Lash Enhancing Serum. Yeah. Because these guys, it's working. It's working. So I had to add this. Yeah. And then this guy retails for $65. Yeah. $65. I still remember the price. I'm happy. I'm happy for that. I had to pick that. I think I did also do it in Mega Drop Shop right now for BoxyCharm. And the last item that I chose would be Item Beauty on the Daily Eyeshadow Palette. Honestly, because there was nothing else. This is a very neutral, boring palette, so yeah. I wish it was colorful. Really wish it was colorful. Or if it gave the option for either or. And this guy retails for $24. Yeah. It's just super neutral. Alright, so camera stopped filming because my cord was full. Just deleted a few clips from videos I've already transferred. So we're good. Hopefully I can finish this. But yeah, like I said, very boring. Very boring. Nothing special about this palette. So yeah, I just picked it because in that category, there just really wasn't anything else. There was nothing else. So I chose that even if it was for gifting or that was honestly the best choice I guess yeah all right so I showed you some of my add-ons some missing ones now some other items that I did add on I think I got these for 12 for 12 oh I did two of these Alright, so again, since this is 12, it's an even higher price tag. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Gloss in Secret Lover. I did two of these. I don't know what is going on with Ipsy. I can't even add another one anywhere. 
Molly. And I honestly hate because this was one of the items that Ipsy would have chosen for you or in your add-on. Not add-ons. Choices we could have picked was never an option for me. Only in add-ons. Yeah. Because I know there were different shades. This was the only shade that showed up for add-ons. Now that I can start wearing glosses again. Mauve pink. Yeah. Yeah. They are mauve pink. It is pigmented. Yeah, it has color to it. A little bit sweet. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I got two and it's not here. And it's not like I can buy another one. Yeah. And then the next item, which also could have been a choice item, but this was never a choice item for me to pick, only in add-ons. This is the Rare Beauty with Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in Thankful. I don't have any of these. Yeah. So we have thankful. Let's see. Ooh. It's a nice nude. Really nice nude. Right here. Yeah, it's really pretty. No scent? No. No scent. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Alright. I'm missing a lot of items. A lot of items. So let me go ahead, tally this up, and see what we got. All right, so I got a total retail value of $398 for this $55 box. All right, so not the best box. I will say half and half, half and half. Yeah. Half and half. Because some choices weren't that great. Some were amazing. Yeah. Add-ons disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Not the best. Not the best. Yeah. I don't know thinking if I'll keep this box don't know because I mean items like this I love because this was if you have an X membership you can shop this in add-ons if not then you can't it won't even show up for you but I can get this during her lip sale so but then I also got this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see what the next one brings. And I'll take it from there. But honestly, it's just been going downhill. <laughs> just downhill. Yeah. But that would be it for today's video. <laughs> yeah. I'm half seas here. Oh, and my Odin's Eye Order just shipped out so I'm excited I know that one ships out of Sweden then goes to China and then from China to the US so it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a while yeah but that will be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy this yeah oh there was something else I wanted to mention I had ordered some single shadows from an independent company it was Copacetic Copacetic Cosmetics on January 4th January 4th and like I said today is the 18 
I think they shipped it out yesterday. Me 17. Yeah. Got some indie shadows that I'm finally going to try out. Some dual chromes. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that will be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.